Hello friends. Wakeman here. We're truly experiencing the birth pangs, as described in the Bible. Zimavis, our feeling something major, is about to go down very soon. We can feel it in our bones, and soul. All the signs are indicating, for a high watch period starting next week. I've been addressing the scope of narcissism in our world for quite some time now, and exposing how narcissism, is just a subsystem of Satanism. Because that, people are now, being able to see the truth that lies behind the narcissist establishment's veil. Pay no attention to that man behind the curtain! The great and past has spoken! And to observe that narcissism, is just a subsystem of Satanism. Therefore YouTube, and its satanic minions, are trying to shut down this channel for sharing the truth. A similar situation is also happening to other channels, for exposing the truth behind the narcissist establishment's veil. My recommendation remains the same as before. This is a spiritual warfare battle we're facing, and it's only through Jesus Christ, we can obtain victory, and be delivered from it. I've a feeling the narcissist establishment, is about to create internet outages, as early as tomorrow. Get ready spiritually, for what lays ahead. As always, check the videos on this channel's playlist, everything hidden will be revealed, for additional information about the what is happening, and getting prepared for it. Despite my terminal illness, my heart and soul is full of love, and I'd keep on praying daily for all of you. May the grace, and the blessed hope, of God, be with you all. God bless you. Please, remember. Jesus Christ is the truth, the way, and the life. Paul the Apostle warned the Church of Jesus Christ will experience a turning away from the true doctrines of Jesus Christ, a turning away from sound doctrine. For the time will come, he said, when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth. Now who's turning away their ears? This is in the house of God. These are those who once loved the truth. These were once those who, who lived in the truth. And were not afraid of reproof, correction. Paul starts this solemn charge. And he calls God and Jesus Christ as witness to what he was about to say and he said preach the word be instant in season and out of season he said I bring God I bring Christ as son as witnesses right now to tell you the time is coming and he points I believe to the very end time that men will not endure sound doctrine they're going to turn to smooth doctrines of ease and peace and prosperity and he said, they're going to turn away, they're going to have itching ears, and they're going to heap themselves teachers to, to, to scratch those itching ears. And Paul says, I'm telling you before the Father in heaven, and I talk, call Christ the Son of the living God to bear witness with the warning that I give to you now. It, 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 they will turn away. They're going, there's going to be a turning away, a falling away from sound doctrine. This, this is the warning of Paul. A great falling away into congregations. Congregations that ref refuse to be reproved. And I, I see such greed and such covetousness I see in the United States. And I used to think that it was, the, it was because there were greedy ministers, backslidden greedy ministers that uh, were producing this. but. I see it differently now. I, I see a people, a congregation. I see people who are heaping to themselves. That's what the scripture says. It's not, the, not that they're uh, that these pastors that have turned toward covetousness. It's not that they have created this new breed of covetous Christians. It's that it's there and the message was wanted and needed and so the enemy has provided pastors who feed into that because it's in the nature, it's what they want, it's what people... The Bible said they will, they will heap themselves teachers having itching ears. It, 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 and, and the prophet said they come to me and they listen and they, they say he sounds good, he, he has a good message, but, but 
they they don't want to hear the word and they want smooth messages and they love to have it so they 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 don't want this gospel anymore they don't want my warnings there's so little of sound doctrine now we've turned to smooth things we don't want to offend anybody anymore this is the new way uh, to be uh, we, we've got to come friendly. In fact, in the New, in, in the new York Times, there was a, a special edition there on a, on a Pentecostal church in the States of about 10, 15,000. And he was asked, the pastor was asked, how did, have you gained in just two years all these people? You started with a handful and you have these thousands and you have this, this, these huge buildings and everything. He said, the secret is bringing them in the back door. He said, you can't, you can't bring them in anymore. You can't offend them. You, 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 you can't give them doctrine. You have to bring them in the back door. To me, that's shocking. Many shall follow their sensuous ways and because of the way the, uh, because of the way the truth shall be mocked and in their greed they will exploit you and that's what we're seeing today an exploitation of so many many people <laughs>